Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Hidden Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the top five fish for a 55 gallon aquarium. Now, a 55 gallon aquarium is a pretty large aquarium and there's actually quite a lot of things you can do with the 55 gallon aquarium. So you can keep cichlids, you can keep tetras, you can keep live bearers, there's a whole range. You can pretty much keep anything you want in a 55 gallon aquarium. And today I'm gonna to be giving you five of the things that I would keep. I'm gonna be trying to give you guys a couple of ideas for what you guys can keep in your 55 gallon aquarium. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video for the YouTube algorithm. Please consider giving this video a like, but also because you'll get to see the five fish that I'm about to talk about. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so number five on my list is gonna be barbs. So barbs are quite an interesting fish. Barbs are quite an aggressive fish. They're also a smaller kind of fish, and they're also very, very quick and darty around the aquarium. So I kind of compare them to the Danios, except they're a little bit more aggressive. These guys are like little crackheads running around your aquarium, and they're gonna go absolutely crazy like they're on some substance. For this tank, I'd recommend only giving barbs. So you can keep cherry barbs or you can keep tiger barbs. There's a whole range of different types of barbs you guys can keep. I'd recommend keeping tiger barbs. I'd fill up an aquarium with about 20 tiger barbs and then I just have fun feeding it. So they're not going to breed for you. They go really, really good in a planted aquarium and they're going to run around the aquarium like all the time, but they're super, super fun to feed. So just a little idea out there for all you guys who just have like an obsession with feeding your fish, which I know a lot of you guys probably do. This would make a really, really cool display tank and something that's really gonna be cool for kids because these guys are just so crazy. Okay, so number four on my list is gonna be another really interesting one and this is a bit more like niche and something that I would do personally and this would be to fill the tank up with tetras. So in more specific terms, I'd fill it up with neon tetras and I'd put 60 to 50 of these guys in there and just literally sit back and daze at it because basically any aquarium with live plants and a neon tetra school is like a guaranteed beautiful display tank. And basically if you set up something like what I've got behind here, this um, 55 gallon tank, it's fully planted. If you fill that up with neons, I'm guaranteeing you it would look good. So all the plants in this tank are super easy to take care of. They're not gonna take any extra effort. And the neons as well are super easy fish to take care of. So if you guys wanna know more about the neon tetra, I've got a little care guide up here. You guys can go through and watch. And they are a super cool fish. So you can also keep them with a bunch of other different styles of fish. And they're gonna do really, really well in that aquarium for you. Another really good thing about the neon tetra is they won't breed. So if you're looking for another display tank, they're not gonna breed an overpopulated tank like guppies will. And they're one of the most peaceful fish you can keep in the aquarium hobby. So just a little bonus. So in number three on my list of the five best fish to keep in a 55 gallon aquarium is gonna be rainbows. So the reason the rainbows are here is because they've got a little soft spot in my heart. These guys are an Australian native fish. They're also from the New Guinea area, all that Northern Australia area. These guys are super beautiful. There's a whole different array of these guys that you can keep. And a 55 gallon is kind of the perfect tank for these guys. So I keep the dwarf species. So I don't really need to worry about tank size too much because they stay pretty small. But if you wanna go into your Bosmanis and all those kinds of different styles, of intricate rainbow fish, the 55 gallon aquarium is gonna be a perfect medium for you to do that. So I definitely recommend doing some Bosmani rainbow fish. These guys are full of color. They are a great fish, they have awesome personality and they also school. So I'd recommend getting about six to eight of these guys. I wouldn't go under six because they go a bit weird when they're in schools of under six. I've just noticed that rainbow fish are a bit like lonely sometimes and they really do need to be in that school. So I definitely recommend doing some Bosmanis. The males are so beautiful, it's not even funny. And these guys in the morning when you come down, turn on the lights or when the lights turn on in the morning, the males show amazing color. Now they go a little bit more draft in the afternoon and that's because in the morning, that's when they normally breed. So these guys are gonna be ready to breed in the morning and during the afternoon they kind of they're done all their breeding so they're just gonna get ready for the next day so I recommend feeding a range of different foods I recommend feeding some frozen foods and some pellets and flakes and all that kind of stuff no I absolutely love it now this definitely isn't a beginner style of fish I recommend this to more intermediate people or more experienced people so if you've kept guppies and things like that and you're looking for something to move on to and you haven't had any like big ammonia spikes or issues as of late Maybe this is a really cool fish for you to consider. You can breed them with a couple spawning mops and they're really, really fun fish to keep in my opinion. Really cool personality and they just look super cool. And then fish number two is gonna be the angelfish. So the angelfish is one of my favorite fish in the entire aquarium hobby. I'm breeding these guys. I've got so many of these guys, it's not funny, and they are one of my favorite fish for sure. These guys are kind of like the icon of freshwater fish keeping. Okay, so what you're currently looking at is my 55 gallon 
Angelfish Aquarium. Now I've got six of these guys. So these are angelfish up here and these are all adults. These are koi angelfish. And as you can see, they are very, very beautiful. So a 55 gallon aquarium is almost the perfect size for these guys. I recommend keeping six of them. And basically what I'm suggesting to you guys is to keep an aquarium like this one. So these are all very, very low maintenance plants. And these guys are one of the easiest fish to take care of in the aquarium hobby by far. They are almost as easy as the guppies and I haven't run into any problems with them. They're super hardy. They love all kinds of food and my favorite thing about these guys is their personality so you'll see me I'll put my hand up here and they're all gonna come up to the top of the aquarium because they are that intelligent they're a very very clever fish they have great personality now what you're gonna notice is if you get six of them I recommend getting them as juveniles now you're gonna get a breeding pair probably so these guys will breed and you'll get a ton of angelfish fry if you can be bothered to raise them up. You'll also get a few that get bullied. So the guy up the back there, he's a little bit of a runt in the litter and he gets picked on by quite a few of these bigger adults. And that's just how it is, but provide them with a lot of hiding spots so any fish that start to get picked on can go and hide away like that guy up the back. You'll have a really, really fun time keeping angelfish in your aquarium. And then my favorite fish to keep in a 55 gallon aquarium is gonna be the Endler. So a bit of a random one. I don't know if you guys would have picked this one. So the Endler is a light bearing fish. They are by far the easiest fish to keep in the entire aquarium hobby and that's for a few reasons. So these guys are still kind of wild so they've got a lot of mixed bloodlines. Now because they are like more wild they don't have many inbreeding ramifications so they don't have problems with bent spines and all that kind of stuff when they start to breed. These guys are light bearers so they're going to give birth to tons and tons of babies. You're going to have so much action in your aquarium and the reason I've suggested this is because I've done this with this bottom aquarium down here. So I started with about three or four trios of endlers in this aquarium and now they've just overpopulated the thing like crazy. So the reason I like them is they're really, really good for you guys who are super newbies. They are super easy to take care of, obviously, like I said before, and they're gonna give birth to like so many fry. So you're gonna have babies in the aquarium all the time. Kids are gonna absolutely love them. You guys can sell the babies once they've grown up to your local fish store and they're gonna take them in and sell them and you can get a bit of store credit. Another thing that's really, really good about a 55 gallon aquarium for these guys is it's gonna have lots of headroom. So it's gonna be really, really hard for you super newbies to kill these guys in a 55 gallon aquarium because there's a big mass of water in there. So any ammonia fluctuations aren't gonna be as bad as they would be in say like a 10 gallon aquarium or even a five gallon aquarium. And I really do like it. So I recommend planting it out, put a lot of plants in there and hiding spaces for the fry to hide because the parents will eat them if they have the chance, I know. They're gonna absolutely love it. So. One of my favorite fish to keep, you can get tiger endlers, you can get black bar endlers, I've got blue star endlers, you can get chili endlers. There's an entire list, breeders have done an absolutely amazing job of making sure that you guys have a huge variety of these guys to choose from. A quick little bonus tip, if you're gonna do this, I recommend every six months to add just like a new endler from like a different store to kind of mix up your bloodlines and stop them from getting inbred because we don't want them to end up like the guppies did and having lots and lots of those inbreeding ramifications that we really don't want. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys learned something today and I'll see you guys in the next one.